Hello everyone. It's Adam here. Typical ADV requirement, turkey. So this is the two, it's kind of a twofer. Uh, the first part of this video is going to be talking about trans lab preparation. The second part of this video is going to be talking about the storm industries, uh, custom bags for uh, any kind of luggage you can imagine. So I reached out to the guy there. So basically, well, let's, let's start with the uh, trans lab stuff. So I'm pretty much all packed up. I have a couple of things still charging that are just going to be unplugged in the morning. I want them to last all day, so I'm fully charged. We've got our Climb Adventure gloves, Forma Adventure boots. Remember, if it says Adventure on it, it is required if you're a BMW rider. Um, something I just thought about, actually, a few minutes ago, was uh, to bring my BMW Quebec um, neck guard. And because we're going to be a bunch of behind, well, potentially being behind a bunch of semi-trailers that are on gravel roads, throwing up dust for miles, instead of stopping, catching them, stopping and catching them, uh, I'm just going to put this thing over my mouth or on my neck, and if it starts to be a problem, I'll grab it and pull it over my face so I can actually breathe. Uh, Tour Tech bag is all packed up. We've got uh, uh, insurance information, registration is all up to date. I got registered through, ne my birthday's next month. I got registered a month early, so I have no problems at the border. Have my enhanced ID, which is uh, something that us New Hampshire people use. I wonder if you guys have seen these before. I show this on camera without showing my information. Uh, kind of. Uh, there you go. So basically, you um, it's a passport card. It's good for the Caribbean, uh, Canada, and Mexico. Don't want to forget that though. And then in here we have uh, tech stuff. I'm keeping this mostly empty because this is kind of where stuff gets stored throughout the day. Battery pack over here. We've got our um, climb breathable mesh clothes, some wool socks, and then uh, this is all wired up where I'll be able to charge the GoPro throughout the day with a power pack that goes into my uh, left pocket. But when I'm not charging it, all I have to do is unscrew this, and this is always hanging, and this is the uh, microphone cable. So I can keep the microphone on and then charge it as well if I want to. Everything's kind of managed back there with zip ties. Um, Fun fact for you that you guys are new to riding or new to dirt riding, you can soak these helmets completely in water. Just remove all the inner liners, all the mouthpieces, and remove the visor and such, and completely submerge these in water, and then clean warm water and soak these pads. It takes about a week to dry the pads out because you don't want to throw them in the dryer. Um, it takes about a week to dry them, but then it gets out all the face oils. I mean, you'll be amazed how oily and gross things are when you're cleaning them. I mean, the, the, the sink was just black from dirt. And it also gets into all these little nooks and crannies and holes too. Uh, new visor, new pin lock. My last visor was looking pretty shitty. I don't know where it is if I threw it out, but it was looking terrible. So new visor. Um, got this for 400 bucks. This is the original Climb Adventure Rally jacket from 2011. It's not high tech. There's not a ton of breathable pockets. Uh, it has these cool Gorlock um, zippers here. Sweet neck guard. It's got a built-in hydration bladder in the back, which I already have full of water. Then I'll be running the Badlands um, 2017 Badlands pants. Those are my pants of choice. And instead of running the um, Dakar pants and my blade jacket, the blade's a commuter jacket, even though it has the D3 or level two in it. This is also D3 or level two, but uh, those pants aren't uh, waterproof. And both of them are very breathable. And it's gonna be uh, lows in the 40s uh, down there. Uh, I'm not gonna be bringing the Moscow 40 liter. I have all my camping gear in it. The plan was to bring that and that be my, you know, my one thing to carry off the bike and camp uh, off the road. But I can't do it because when I put the two gallons of fuel and water on the bike, it wouldn't fit. So I had to come to a, a change of direction here on things. Um, so what ended up happening with the two gallons of liquids, the water and the fuel, on the rotor packs here, um, couldn't put the 40 liter across. It just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't tie down properly. So I grabbed my tracker 20 liter, which I got for free as a Black Friday thing last year. Stuffed this with my uh, tent, sleeping bag, and uh, inflatable air mattress and pillow, all in compression sacks. Compressed it further. I moved my Thermarest um, fold out mattress pad into the 20 liter dry sack, which doesn't quite close here in the end. It'll probably get a little bit wet, but I couldn't quite close it. It's just almost too tall. And strap that to the side. And then also that what was in the 40 liter was my Kermit chair. Um, it was also in the 40 liter bag. So basically this, this, and this were all in the 40 liter bag and they had to kind of come out and get separated this way. Um, 
it's easier to steal this stuff, but it also is uh, more distributed, easier to take one thing off, you know, just the chair off if I want to. So, eh. Uh, the seat looks weird because I have a battery tender on it right now because I have all my things plugged into it. Um, the, uh, the Garmin, the Garmin is actually uh, inside. So we got the Garmin uh, NAV6, which is getting loaded up with all of my routes right now on Basecamp. Uh, we've got our inReach, which will be tracking me. I'll, um, I'll probably post a link to that for you guys to see uh, in the comments so you can follow my trip. So that I won't be uploading until I get back. My TomTom is a backup device, totally backup unit. Uh, and then the iPhone here, GoPro remote here. Uh, Senna remote control here for changing the music. And heated seat controller here. So the seat's up because I've got a battery tender plugged in just because those devices are drawing power right now and I don't want to... Uh, Drain the battery overnight. So here's the rear setup. 16 ounces of fuel, 20 ounces of water, or 60 ounces of water. Uh, this is gonna be a clank. I'll probably take this off after the first five miles. Uh, when you open this up, you guys are gonna love this. So Storm Industries makes the bag for the Kermit chair. And I loved it so much, there's a logo. I even went to their website and I was like, hey, you got, they have more bags for kind of uh, adventure touring bikes, but nothing for the Jesse boxes. So I emailed the guy there, I think his name is Brad, and I said, hey, do you make a bag that I can put in my um, Jesse top case? And I gave him the measurements. He said, oh yeah, easy, what color do you want? So they made it out of Cordura fabric, uh, mildly waterproof, not watertight, but water resistant. Uh, so in here is uh, snacks. I've got my pine bars, I've got sugar, I've got various messinins, just in case I have a headache or have allergies. Um, got a light, got my vitamins in here, my, oste uh, my osteobiflex, uh, fish oil, those kind of things. Uh, the hand warmers in case I need them, spoon, tea, all this stuff will be over here. Um, I've got an extra air filter here in case uh, we have a dusty day behind the truck trailer. And these are all my clothes for the whole two weeks. I've got six shirts, six underwears, and uh, six pairs of socks. I'll have a sock and do a um, laundry mat of some sort. Here's the other side of that scenario here on the right side of the bike. Now here we've got all of our uh, dehydrated meals that you can make with uh, four, three to six ounces of water in a um, jet boil. So this is the other side of it. Okay. So he made two of these for me as well. I'm only using one side because the other side was uh, a little awkward to get in there. But these are little, uh, they have handles on them. Again, watertight. And uh, flashlight buckets, random uh, bolts. This is my gigantic camp lan lighter, lantern. It's hugely bright. And then you see here, I've got um, a couple little knickknacks. We've got some fire starter in here. We've got our um, moto pump for a flat tire plug kit. We've got an XPS3, which is the uh, battery starter kit in case like I said, I drew my battery. Um, and here I got this cool tow rope, uh, just getting to towed out of somewhere. And tools are down there as well, tire irons, uh, water bucket, that kind of stuff, and some spare oil, in case we have a oil leak of some sort. So this Storm Industries case is a really nice, he'll custom make cases for any uh, size panniers. Really nice fit, uh, I think they're great. Close this back up. Um, and then the top case, but I can't quite open right now because I have the 20 liter tracker on. I open enough to get to things. We've got our first cave kit up there, some more jerky. My second set of gloves, which is the Dakar Pro gloves, which have a, a leather sole. They're not waterproof, but they are great for hot days when you don't want to be wearing Vortex gloves. Um, bear spray, never know. We have our uh, DJI Mavic Air. We have our DJI uh, gimbal here, um, electronics. So in here, pull the paper, of course. Uh, in here, I always carry spare rock straps and bungees, just in case. I don't need bungees here to go over the top of the top case, but uh, I carry them anyway because um, they're just there if I need them. So we got an extra towel here. Uh, very important for Trans Labrador, you're gonna need a rain hat, and you're gonna need a rain hat that also has one of these uh, insect shields. It goes over the hat and down across your neck because there are black flies like crazy up there. Uh, we've got two 28,000 milliamp anchor power cores for batteries. But during the day, check this out. During the day, 
we have an SAE port that goes into the, um, the bike. You can see it or not, there it is. It comes out into two of these SAE to USB plugs. They're each uh, 2.4 amps. So while I'm riding, my headlamp, um, my battery packs, there's the other one there, uh, my battery packs and um, well, anything else really, iPad will charge. Basically, four devices will always be charging for the day we're riding. Uh, I can also stick the lamp that you saw in here, in here as well. And then at night, those things, I can use them at night while we're camping. Lamp, lantern, headlamp. Uh, my flashlight here is also USB rechargeable. And then um, the power cores at night will charge my iPhone, my Senna helmet, my GoPro remote, my Senna remote, uh, and keep the in-reach charged if needed for nighttime. And during the day, I recharge the power back packs. Um, pretty cool, I think. So having four SAE to USB ports in the back. Gotta be careful though, because uh, every time I get off for the night, I wanted to lift the seat up and show you guys here. No, I can't. I get uh, too, too much of it. Put the seat up and unhook that SAE port or it will drain the battery while I'm sleeping. Uh, again, why I have that micro start just in case. Um, so this is pretty much the setup for the Trans Labrador. Uh, all possible really do the storm industry cases. Um, as far as actual weight, shit, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Uh, but as you guys know, I have aftermarket shocks that are sprung up to my weight, plus they can, they can also take another 150 pounds of person or luggage. So we're, we're fine on that regards. Um, and then also I had the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs on, brand new, not even scrubbed in yet. We'll see how it goes, man. I'm nervous, I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna upload this and publish it before I leave and um, click the link below and you'll see my travel plans for where I am in the world. Maybe I'll post some messages there so you guys can check in on me. But uh, that's it for now. And if this is the last video on this channel, then uh, I died. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. Um, I hope I'm not overloaded. I do hope I'm not overloaded, but we just gotta give it a shot and see how it goes. All right, dudes, it's been Adam here. I'll turn around, I haven't shaved in a couple days. Adam here, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching. I'm excited. I've been planning this. I, 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 I thought about doing this in November of last year and everything I've been doing to the bike has kind of been in preparation for this trip. And uh, I truly hope it goes well. Okay, dudes, thanks for following along. I can't wait to share some updates with you guys on Adventure Rider and YouTube and Flickr and that's it, it's all I use. And uh, See you on the other side. Not heaven or hell or anything like that. Let's hope not.